Hey, what's going on everyone? It's KIM in the SAV. Well, today in the ATL, my stay is over. What's going on Instagram? The youngins, my young folks, okay? So y'all, y'all gonna have to um get ready with me while I check out of this hotel room. Tell me something in my eye. Oh, I felt it as soon as I did that. Okay, got it. So how was y'all's weekend? My weekend was awesome. I don't want it to end. Hey, what's going on, Kelly Marie? What's going on, Oscar Gordon? Um, but yeah, I had an awesome weekend here. Um, I'm up here in Dunwoody. Got a chance to meet with some clients yesterday. Yes, Hana. Don't you just love it? Like when you go to get your hair did and your hairdresser needs some products. So it ends up, um, <laughs> y'all just don't understand the art of the flip into who so can you not do that uh hey what's going on? greetings beloved ralph grant hey shaniqua what's going on girly teammate teammatey there so listen guys this weekend i had to come to atlanta y'all know i still get my hair done in the atl um you have not studied me all morning long then you hear me going live and you come in here like a little puppy dog like a little neglected puppy dog are you serious right now so anywho um, I came to Atlanta to get my hair did, and I decided, you know, um, this was a great weekend for a lot of people on the team for us to meet up and um, converse and things. COVID is still running rapid, but um, we were we were careful. We were safe. Um, can I tell y'all something? I kind of like the whole restaurant situation now that there's social distancing. Because I used to hate to go to restaurants, right, and have a bunch of people sitting next to me. Ah, ha, ha laughing all loud I'm like, mm, can you go so I really love it now that we got elbow room right we got space you know so anywho guys listen I titled this she tried it or she tried me on Facebook and I don't like to beat around the bush so I'm gonna get straight to the point every Sunday night at eight o'clock we have team training right <laughs> we have team training well <sighs> This is why it's so important to listen to your leaders. Oh, that's too light, isn't it? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> wrong area. See, that's how I'm... My frequency off. Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll fix it. So every Sunday night at 8 o'clock, we have team training, right? And um, last night on team training, we... So in Atlanta, I met with Amistad, uh, Candy B, and also Mal. Okay, um, y'all, y'all want to know more about Mal, but we were telling the team about what we talked about at Maggiano's. Ooh, oh my gosh, the sangria! Oh my gosh, the pasta, the lasagna. Yes, all bad foods, but it's okay because we have the tea, so don't judge me. So, we were telling the team about what a great time we had at the restaurant talking and strategizing see y'all like to meet up with people just talk about nothing the majority of people but we were talking about going to the next level what we need to do for our teams what areas are our strengths what are our weaknesses and just a whole myriad of things it was really really a good time we met from like what whoo i think it was like nine o'clock to two in the morning yes and we covered a lot of ground it was oh so very necessary okay so we were telling the team about that and while we were on the Zoom training, and I was sharing the experience and just talking about the importance of meeting face-to-face, -face, even though we do so many things digitally, there was a, a teammate that unmuted and said, can we just get back to training? <laughs> Ooh. Yes, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and all the three wise men. See, my team knows me. Like, the ones that are plugged in, they know me. And I learned a long time ago, if you don't have anything nice to say, you don't say anything. So I had to take a pause for a minute. Yes, I did. I had to take a pause, and I had to gather my thoughts. Now, my face is very animated, so... Even when I am contemplating how to respond to people, my face oftentimes tells what I really want to say. 
Hey, um, Sylvia. Sylvia said that was disrespectful. Exactly, right? Um, hey, Jessica, what's going on, beautiful? It was disrespectful. However, to be honest, I have come to expect that of this teammate. It's not the first time she's been disrespectful. And this happens, y'all. So if you think that MLM is some big kumbaya love fest, no, people are people no matter where you go. And I learned a long time ago watching David Imonitie, watching Greg and Lanika Scott, watching Storm and Wellington, and listening to the stories that they've, they've um, discussed as they've gone through things with their team. I learned a long time ago, there go that white part that I messed up on. Um, people, you have to realize as a leader, people are in different stages of their personal development. Okay? And there are certain tests that you have to pass as a leader. If everybody loved you, it would be too easy, right? If all your clients bought all the time, it would be too easy. If all of your recruits did exactly what they were supposed to do, it would be too easy, right? If your children did all their chores, it would be too easy. And when things are too easy, we don't continue to grow. It is the challenge, right? When you go into the gym to build a muscle, it is the resistance of adding weight or continuing up in the reps and all that stuff. That is what builds the muscle when it's not easy, <laughs> right? Does that make sense? So when that happened, it's funny because like I said, my teammates know me. Um, I handled it, I'm not gonna say how. I've never been one to run so I addressed it, and I do know that a lot of times when people say things um, in the spirit of anonymity, when they think nobody knows who it was, then they usually get more, hey, Tania, they usually get more ballsy. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's all good, though. But here's the whole deal. She tried me. I think I somewhat passed the test <laughs> because I always have to keep in mind you know, a problem that a person has with you is usually not a problem that they have with you. And I know this particular rep, they have a lot of problems. A lot, uh, like most people, that's no shade to them. They have a lot of problems, like most people. But one thing I've noticed in working with them is something is always somebody else's fault. They're never to blame for anything. It's always, they are always the victim. And once I saw that with this rep, I started taking some steps back. I started... Um, lessening my communication with them. I advised them long ago to really get into personal development because here's the thing about personal development. You don't have to tell me you're personal developing. I'm not your teacher. You don't have to give me the books that you're reading, um, but I can, I can feel it oozing off of you. I can see it in how you act. I can see it in the words that you choose to use. I can see it in how you conduct yourself when you're personally developing. What's going on, Big Kev, Slim Kev? Hey, Nally Alexander. Y'all shout out my girl, Nally Alexander, who is one of the nicest people in the whole wide world and truly deserved to win, what, almost like $2,000? Oh, I hate it when I put on makeup and it looks like, how do those girls put on those makeup and they look like a totally different person? And I put on, I look like the same dang old person. Hold on, let me try to fix this. Anyway, Nally Alexander has won like $2,000 from the company just for commenting on Facebook Lives in the last month. She got good juju. I got to get around her. I got to fly to the island and, and just touch her. I got to touch her shoulder or something. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, maybe this will help. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. So anyway, one thing I've learned in watching, and this is why you have to study, hey baby, this is why you have to study successful people because they'll give you the blueprint. They'll give you a heads up for everything you're going to experience. So therefore, when these things come, you're no longer surprised, right? Mentors are the shortcut. When you listen to your mentors and the mistakes that they made or the things that they've gone through, that will prepare you for what you need to do when you go through the same exact thing. Because here's the whole deal. The rain falls on us all, the just and the unjust. Everybody ain't going to love you, okay? Most people don't even like you. They just perpetrating. But here's the deal. In situations like that, you have to choose your focus. You have to choose your focus, y'all. And most of us choose wrong. You're going to have rogue reps, rogue employees, uh, bad friends, 
friends that turn on you gonna you gonna have all because at one point this person loved me oh kim thank you so much blah blah blah, blah boo. that's why you can't buy the hype y'all when somebody is is singing your praises don't get too caught up in that because most People's words are conditional. They're based on the conditions at the time. Okay? Um, because the liquid glow already given that glow. Thank you. You know, I put on my juice. <laughs> but most people's words are conditional. The man who loves you and drink your bath water today, he might wanna. <laughs> he might he, he might not feel so lovely about you tomorrow. <laughs> Same thing, fellas. The woman who, uh, oh, baby, I can make your toes curl. Tomorrow, she might want to whack your feet off, right? Like misery. <laughs> Most people's words and actions are conditional. There are very few people that are mature enough to look at a situation as a whole and say, what role did I play in this? What part did I play in this? Even though this situation with this person is not going the way I would like it to, um, how, how can I make it go better? There are very few people who are willing when there is a point of contention between two parties, there are very few people who are willing to work to bridge the gap instead of just widen that thing, okay? Very few people, okay? And so it's okay and it's to be expected. And I'm cool, I'm cool because you know what? I have to choose my focus. The 80-20 rule holds true all the time. 80% of the people gonna cause you grief, strife, mess with you. 20% of the people won't be your diamonds, gonna be your gems, and that's okay for me. Am I gonna focus on that rogue rep? Huh? And, and you know what's so funny? Usually people, mmm, mmm, this is a good word. Usually people gravitate toward negativity. Usually people love it. They eat it up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm, no, 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 no. Usually people love it, but I'm so proud of my team because my team was like, whoa, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. My team did not feed, just because that person let the devil use them, my team didn't, didn't feed into it. See, that's how you can tell somebody is personally developing. So what am I going to do? The old Kim would have tried to get that person back. I don't get anybody back anymore. I haven't done that for years. That's a very juvenile way to go through life. And the law of sowing and reaping goes both ways. You try to get them back, trust, trust me, something gonna get you back too. And, and that's what that person doesn't realize too. Like if they stay in this game, if, cause I don't know. You never know what people, it's a coin toss. If they stay in this game, what they do not realize is the same seeds that they have sown with me, they will reap with their team. That's just the way it works guys. Okay, um, but what was it gonna say? What was I going to say? Um, I'm gonna wrap this up shortly. But um, yeah, if they stay in the game, they'll reap what they sown. That's not me hoping it happens. That's me knowing it happens because you're not exempt. That's why I can't get people back anymore. Because as much as I want to, in my flesh, you know, being, being carnal, as much as I want to get some people back for stuff, there's no point in that. When you understand these laws that they're going to get themselves, like they already sold that seed, so it's, taking, it's already done, you don't, you don't even have to worry about it anymore. And that gives you peace of mind. That's the only thing that has helped me to not respond as quickly as I used to. That peace of mind, that knowing these principles and these concepts, I don't have to do it. I don't have to do anything to anybody, to anybody that does me wrong. Um, and a person will always show themselves eventually. So if you're in this game or if you're in leadership period, if you're a leader, I'm telling you, like some people say, don't get too close to people. I don't believe that. I used to I used to subscribe to the belief that people are guilty until proven innocent, but now I say innocent until proven guilty. I don't have a problem with you until I have a problem with you. Other than that, we're fine. I'm not gonna, you know, stand off from helping people or being nice to people or giving people my time. And ironically enough, that's the only reason why she's mad at me. Because when she wanted to call and talk about problems, I wanted to talk about solutions. When she wanted to play with my time, I made demands that she respect my time. That's the only reason why she's mad at me. 
nothing more and nothing less. And that's okay because it's fitting with that person's character. That's fitting with a and I'm not the only person that goes through that. That's fitting with a lot of people's character. Right now, some of y'all got best friends that the minute you tell her, all right, girl, either leave the man or stop calling him about him, she's going to get mad at you. Right now, y'all have friends like that. Right now, y'all have vindictive family members in your lives. Right now, somebody is sleeping with somebody who know all their skeletons in the closet. And the minute you stop letting him cheat on you or her cheat on you, now they're going to tell all your business to the world. See, this, these are universal principles. That's why I love network marketing because it is a training ground for how to deal with life. The stuff that happened over here, it happens in all areas of life. And when you learn how to deal with it, with it better, oh my gosh, you, whoo, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. But the bottom line is, what, what do I choose to focus on? That was a test of her personal growth. The minute the devil whispered in her ear, why don't you try to disrupt the meeting? And she failed. And that was a test of my personal growth. Sure, well, whoo, 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 yes, honey. <laughs> Because y'all know I'm slick with the tongue. Um, and I don't like disrespect. But you know what? I just read the other day. And they said, it, it was something I was reading. I can't quote it. But it basically said, you know, um, a lot of people like street code. And you, you ain't going to disrespect me. You ain't going to. That's the ego talking. That's the ego talking. And if you're ruled by your ego, guys, you cannot connect with this, your higher power. See, if, you, if you're ruled by your ego, you cannot connect with infinite intelligence, with God. And if you cannot connect with infinite intelligence, with God, to give you the wisdom about what to do and what to say and how to act in certain situations, then trust me, you're going to make the situation worse. So if I know, if I know these things and I know I want that connection, then when somebody disrespects me and when somebody does things like that. I cannot, my first thought can't be what it used to be, which is, oh, you ain't going to disrespect me. Because I know that's the ego talking. It's not about me. How you do anything is how you do everything. That person, trust me, that person has a lot more problems right now, I'm sure, with other people besides me. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. So what am I going to do? What are you going to do as a leader when that happens to you? Are you going to focus to the disrespectful butthole who hasn't done their personal development? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going to focus to the Mon uh, are you going to focus on the Montez Neelys? Are you going to focus on the Anna Acevedo's? Are you going to focus on the Amistad's? Are you going to focus on the J Babies? Are you going to focus on the Candy Bees? Are you going to focus on the Mavs? Are you going to focus on the Jennifer Mustafa's, the Tania's, the Sylvia's? Are you going to focus on the Kevin Boone's? Are you going to focus on Coach? Are you going to focus on uh, Coach Anderson? Are you going to focus on um? Oh my gosh, I just had somebody join the team. 26 years old. Bedridden. You hear me? Bedridden. She has so many issues, it will blow your mind. And it's a blessing that she joined with me. You know why? Because she makes me more grateful for my life. Because she, she pushes me to not make excuses. This heifer, because yes, I'm going to call her a heifer too. I call everybody heifer. <laughs> She's not, she, I, she doesn't, My, Myron Golden said this. He said, I don't have a disability. I have different abilities. And I told her when she joined the team, I said, I'm not going to treat you any different than anybody else. She's gotten an associate's degree, going for her bachelor's degree. So she, she's finding a way to get things done from her bed. This helper within 48 hours of joining the business snapped up her um, a, a bonus on her check that most people who are fully capable can run, can walk, can talk, can play, can do all these things. All these things that she doesn't have the privilege of doing. She's not wallowing in that bed. She's like, let me find out a way how I can, you know, do stuff from the bed. Came across my video, join me. So am I going to focus on her? Am I going to focus on the people on my team that are out here every single day fighting for themselves and their families and the other people that they know that they were put here to serve? Or am I going to sit up here and listen to my ego and let my ego play me? Like, it's one thing if you let a person play you. But what if you play yourself? Why would you play yourself? Hold on. I ain't going to do it. 
So leadership is a trip. It's loads of fun, never a dull moment. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, I tell you that. But it's worth it. Because I'm gonna tell y'all this, when we sat at that table Friday night, Friday night, Saturday night? When we sat at that table Saturday night, I, I, I don't like to feel feelings, but I felt some feelings. I was about to cry because of the wisdom of Amistad, the increased wisdom of Amistad, the increased wealth of Candy B and the gentle spirit of Mal and fellowship and friendship. All of us are like-minded people moving toward a common goal. There was a time, y'all, when Amistad and I were not on good terms. And to have him humble himself, I told the story, I will continue to tell the story, okay? I will continue to tell the story, but when Amistad first joined the business, we did not have a good relationship. And he left. And when he came back very, very recently, you know, how he has been so teachable and coachable, so humble, so gracious. And the success that he's seen as a result, it is humbling. And he did something Saturday night that really just blew all of us away. I'm not going to put his business out there. But he did something Saturday night that, that just made all of us speechless. And we were so appreciative. So the complete, so can people change? Absolutely they can. Am I going to give up on that rep? No, I'm not. Do they have limited access to me? Absolutely. Because Amistad didn't just come back like, do 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 like nothing ever happened. We had to, we had to square things away before we could have a, 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 an amicable business relationship, right? We had to clean up the mess of the past before we could go forward into the bright future, okay? So when I look at the increased wisdom of Amistad, the things, the knowledge that he was split, spitting at that table on Saturday night, and I look at the increased wealth of my girl, Candy B. Y'all don't know. There was a time when if I came to town or anything, if we wanted to meet up, Candy B didn't even have gas money, y'all. And guess what? Sometimes I didn't even have money to sell her the gas money. Look at God. Okay? But when we met, when she, she said, where you at? I said, I'm in Dunwoody. She was like, okay, cool. What? I'm going to get my eyebrows done. I said, oh. Look at you, fancy pants. She was, I can get my eyebrows done. Then I gotta go get my car something done, um, something with her car. And then um, me and Amistad will be up up there. I said, oh. And see, to y'all that might be a little thing, but y'all don't understand for a single mom with special needs, twins, who can't get a job. Every time she's had a job, she's been fired or had to quit because she's had so many doctor's appointments. That's a big deal to be able to increase your sales, to learn the art of the flip and to um, make money. What time is it? Don't let me miss the checkout. Woo! It's 11.50. Okay. I got to wrap this up. But that's a big deal. So for her to come and say, hey, where are we meeting? And not need any gas money? And come up here? And then say, now where are we eating? Not like, well, now nah, Kim, you know I'm on a budget. So we can do the chilies. I think they got a two for 30. I think they got two for 25. <laughs> you know, and, it's, and if, that's your, if that's your situation right now, don't think I'm talking about you. Be, know that I'm saying this. Mary Stewart, girl, J-Baby, have me look up your um, profile picture. You and your husband in that yellow. Ooh, that skin. Ooh, everything. Ooh. See, am I going to focus on that rogue rep? Or am I going to focus on Mary Stewart, who got in the business in January, called me and said, as soon as she signed up, Kim, I don't think I can do this. I'm like, well, doggone. Here we go again. <laughs> But we had a good talk. We had a good talk. Mary Stewart does her personal development. I don't have no issues out of Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart knows how to assess what she needs and she knows how to go get it. And she knows that always, I can't always be the source. So she connects with Jay Baby. She connects with Candy B. She connects with, she connects with all other people on the team. Mary Stewart has empowered herself, has been patient in the process is enjoying the journey and what a journey it is her transformation doing 70 squats girl i gotta catch up to you but i don't know if i'm gonna do it with them squats i'm gonna have to do an alternative an alternative exercise <laughs> i ain't the squat master now um but anyway who you gonna focus on was what i was saying for candy b to come up to to to, to dunwoody not need no gas money not ask you know not put restrictions on where we're gonna go to eat when I said, let's go to Maggiano's 
everybody was cool. Y'all don't understand. It's these little things that add up to be big things. One day, my team is going to say where we're meeting and I'm going to say Bali. And they're going to say, okay, let me book my flight. Or better yet, let me have my assistant book my flight. Y'all don't understand. The general public doesn't understand. But it's cool. I can show you better than I can tell you. I, I promise you that. I promise you that. But anyway, you're going to have people try you in life. Family members, friends, definitely business partners. If you, if you own a business employ, and you employ employees, a traditional brick and mortar, you have employees, ooh, they're going to try you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to say that they're sick and really they on the, um, the versus battle. Okay, <laughs> you got people who calling out the work and they working from home and that's something, right? You gonna have people try it. You gonna have people really, really do some foul ish to you and act completely clueless when you are given no choice but to cut them off from the access to you. It's okay. Where is your focus gonna be? You gotta realize the problem that person has with you is not a problem with you. It's a problem that they have with themselves. And chances are it's a problem that they have with everybody else too. So you are not exempt. But where's your focus gonna be? Is it gonna be on those one, on those few? If it is, you don't get it yet. You're letting the distractions get their name because that's what they do. They distract. Distractions come to distract. So if you get distracted by distractions, then you really need to level up. Like big talk, okay? So guys, oh, oh look at that. Okay, the lighting is still not so good. Let me still do. I should have did that the whole entire time. <laughs> anyway, did y'all learn a lesson out of this? Because my and let me be clear in my communication. The point of this video is not that put that not to put that person on blast. I didn't say their name. If, only if you want on that Zoom do you know who it is. If that person watches this video, I could care less. I'm not concerned with that at all. I, I should have had on both lights the whole time. My bad. Um, but, but the point of this video is to let you know. For everybody who's like, ooh, I wish I had a team. Ooh, I can't wait to get some team. Ooh, this. Ooh, that. Ooh. For all of y'all, just know this. You got to take the good with the bad. When your team comes, there's going to be good team members and there's going to be some... You feel an adjective. Interesting. Interesting. Colorful. Colorful team members, okay? You, you're going you're gonna to get all that. Um, and you have to be prepared. You should start preparing yourself right now mentally. Because everybody ain't going to love your butt. <laughs> and even the ones that initially do, might not for long. There are very, many people are very, very temperamental, okay? So, just... I think I did it with the wrong side. I'll fix it later. I, oh, I know what I, I know what it is. Um, but yeah, just be prepared for that. Prepare yourself. Get in your personal development. Encourage your teammates to do their personal development. You can't shove it down their throats. You can't make them do it. But just recognize when you have someone who is not doing it, limit your access to them. Because I'm telling you right now, I can't wait for all of us to meet up. Oh, I, I told y'all, get your coins together now. We done had a whole year of quarantine. When outside open back up, don't be caught off guard. Talking about Kim, um, uh, I will be able to come, but I'll be like, what? What? No, you didn't. So I'm telling y'all right now, get your coins together because it's going to be so much fun. And we're going to make it a productive trip. It's going to be a write-off just like this one was. And we're going to have a good old funky time. We're going to level up. <laughs> I ain't telling no lie. I just... I ain't telling no lie. I just five, four. What y'all know about that Nipsey Hole hustle? I said Nipsey Hole. My bad. What y'all know? Three, two. That's money. Okay, I'm messing up the song. But I can't play songs because then YouTube will take down my video. Copyright violation. I can't monetize it. And ever since I monetized my YouTube channel, baby, I ain't trying to play that. All right, let me go by. I cannot be late for check out. Messing around with y'all, folks. Um, yes, I'm getting mine together. Yes, colorful individuals. Hmm. You know when a black girl smack, she mean business. Let me stop. <laughs>
IG, follow me. Facebook, hit follow, see first. Uh, YouTube, subscribe and bang the bell to the right thing down. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Now I gotta go. <laughs> oh, it's about to be epic. Yes, baby. Throw them waves up, Montez. Throw them waves up. Throw them waves up. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs>